Hello, hello, welcome guys. Welcome back to Starland. Bazeroni in the chat. How's it going, man? Says you're a first time viewer, welcome. Um, alrighty. Did some uh, work last night. We're just getting back to it. Um, I did a couple things in the in the meantime. I encountered one weird issue. Camera's going so slow. Um, this is what we did last night to these two mansions. And uh, I kind of just placed down another mansion here and then had a wacky idea for this um, thing. Um, Bazeroni, love the bills, appreciate it. It's very nice of you. Um, so I, yeah, I wanted to at least work on these, potentially a couple more mansions around here. Uh, downloaded a couple assets that could be helpful. I also um, added in stairs, like I said I was going to. Download this fun pack of stairs. Um, but the one weird thing that I encountered is these palm trees, these bushes uh, disappeared and I thought it was some sort of weird fluke and I replaced them and then I quit the game and loaded it again and they disappeared again. So, both of those things, um, both of those trees just so happen to be content creator pack trees. It's unfortunate, it was this one and this one. Maybe at Mr. Mason about that. I don't know what the deal is, but I guess I shouldn't be placing any of these uh, content creator pack. It's unfortunate. They're great, but they disappear. So, I guess I gotta just find something, uh, some other, some other type of bush, flower type thing. Like, what is a content creator pack thing, and what isn't? Not one vanilla. Does that count? How do I make sure? How do I make sure? Uh, I'm not viewing those. R H O D, that's a weird. Rhododendra. Yeah, okay. So I'm just not gonna look for vanilla assets. Here. Forestry on turned on currently, which I'm realizing maybe I need to use that as a tool, turning it on and off because I don't I don't know how well it's gonna work. But I feel like placing down this many trees is just gonna make the ground incredibly green, and forested. I have like definitely been using the trees to like change the ground color by adding in little bits of forestry color in, in especially like out in these areas kind of makes it like the terrain have different colors it's nice but like here the only reason that this is even green is because there's just this amount of trees but I have a, even more over here I don't have it quite so green it's a little green I really like that 
that Mr. Mason palm tree. work on this thing I was thinking so there's this like really wacky uh, restaurant in LA that I was thinking uh, it could be fun to do something like this it's, like very old school it's from like it's like very popular in the uh, like I don't know 40s or 30s or something I think maybe I'm wrong but it's like a Japanese rest like uh, Japanese castle thing and it's like really bizarre that it's there and it kind of like overlooks Hollywood a little bit something similar to this uh, so you know for one So like an asset that comes with this that's for filling in these areas would be super useful. should have done the ones with the railings. That was sort of stupid. Whatever. Won't have railings. And then, yeah, this one. Convert this one to PO.
going to need to actually... I don't know, I'm just going to copy and paste another row. Too lazy to make them thick instead. One by one, so it would have to be... You know what could actually be cool is potentially make a couple terraces with that somehow. This is basically a freaking pressed page up and home, which are buttons that are next to each other at the same time. Something I can lift up. It's not important. There we go. Got it to stop. It just like starts holding down page up if you do that with uh, reshade installed. Clumsy fingers. Necessary, sure. I 
MJ Stevens, what up, man? An LA New Wars uh, kind of story in the city would be cool. Yes, I agree. Definitely agree. Some cool, uh, cool elements for that. I'm thinking I'm going to cover these up with a bunch of uh, plants and stuff, all this terrain here. What inspired me to build a 1930s city in the desert? You know, that's a good question. I honestly do not even remember. I, I don't remember <laughs> the circumstances that I came up with the idea for the city. It was a long time ago. I came up with the idea for this city like a year and a half ago, probably. And I've been planning it for like that long. I think I think part of it, to be honest, to be honest, is um, there's a lot of really good assets on the workshop in this theme. So there's a you know a lot of themes you can't really you know, there's not just there's not just not that much you know. thinking this is actually going to be kind of cool i think uh, i was thinking a ton of flowers and bushes and things uh, on these little strips it's a shame those uh rhododendra bushes don't work because i don't really have very many good flowers i like decorative plants. like a brush on the top of the terrain conforming network potentially hopefully uh, the game just like thinks the terrain is somewhere else because terraform network pulled it you know up or down or whatever and the trees are snapping to that wrong height that the game thinks it is Almost 
hope that does the trick. Haha, <laughs> I really did actually do the trick. That's pretty cool. with the terrain or covering up with bushes to get some of the uh, ends of these looking alright but it's gonna be cool. Terrible, I suppose. Do uh, one more layer of those bushes, whatever the heck they were. No, that's not them. It's not them at all. some sort of tree to, to mix in here and I'll slightly decorative I feel like I have nothing for this purpose Do a little um, patio area on top. The other thing I did uh, since I last streamed was I went through all the vanilla props, so there's a lot more props in here to choose from. Go with these ones. These ones are nice, but they're so small. These ones are fine. The wooden ones. No, no, no. It's like the, one of the nicest restaurants. It should be, it should be these cloth tables. All red chairs.
definitely need uh, like a planter. I don't think I laid out all the planters over here. There are these things actually. This one's a good planter. Use this. thing with the dropping of the height. Los Angeles has um, a big koi pond in the middle. I'm not sure if I can necessarily do that, but MJ Stevens, you love the uh, Antares build that I did with Temple Institute. Uh, yeah, that one. That's it. That was definitely a fun one in terms of like, you know, you can like, it's crazy. You can build a city that, um, like doesn't have cars at all and they all, they all fly around and it like still functions great. Not crazy. I'm thinking delete this. do a couple tables and chairs here and there. Basically, just copy and paste this around all over the place.
you know, like a couple, a couple double. We'll do a lot of this. This is a little excessive, but big restaurant. Looks uh, good from a distance, I think. Those tables and chairs. Uh, screw the hedge, I think it's fine. It's just fine. Yeah, and like, what the heck is going on with the road here is the other, the other weird thing about this. Really bizarre. I think this building should move. Maybe like a parking lot here. It's the best way to do this. fun we could use. Maybe these these could be fun in the parking lot. Let's take that. These are small. Also this is very bumpy. Do some prop cars along along that part there. That's what I that's what I have to do. Full. 
valet double park these people in, you know? Fantastic. Fantastic. Goes right here. Some, uh, some trees, some forest. Honestly, this is kind of the outskirts at this point. A little heavy. This is a little intense. It's a little too many. here? I don't know. things that I've really regrettably did is I did so much of this road layout without realizing that there's a, a asymmetrical one of these little freaking white line that's what I should be using in a lot of places Next. 
Why is it not do what I'm asking? Use the picker on the bush, please. Thank you. I do wish I could have like some sort of sign here on the corner, but I uh, don't want to spend the time to make something custom. I feel like there should be a parking garage here, but I also don't have a parking garage, any parking garage assets. Do up this mansion. Oh, they're happy for some reason. Fantastically, I thought. I'm just going to copy the same thing. Is this retaining wall here? I thought looked real good. It's like rail, right? Railway. This is one of the better songs on the playlist. It's a good one. down some shrubs and then a couple trees. Stuff one into this corner instead. 
of whatever I was trying to do before with like the popple pavement. Basically like that. And then maybe over here, instead of that little tiny road, do one of these parking roads. I don't know, so they have like a place to turn around. This maybe could be fun at the um, at the Japanese restaurant. people like a nice flat lawn.
definitely wouldn't be tree stumps here. some sort of bush. And along the edge there. All right, fantastic. I'm not loving the way that this looks. Maybe there's a building here. Why don't we just browse downtown for a building? I feel like that's easier. This building could be good. I got a little bit of a triangle shape, like what we need. Which, which way is it meant to face the street, is the question. Oh, this, is, this is great, this is really good. Perfectly. Something slightly different with the fence. Looks great. I'm thinking this place has some connection to uh, this place. <laughs> I was thinking this is a theater, but it's so small. It's a small, very small theater, movie theater. Any kind of theater, really. This is like a big rock that feels like it's taking up too much space. We're just looking for a little a little detail here. We don't need it. Sticking way, way out. This guy's also like sticking way up in the air. It's a weird one. This is some crappy stuff <laughs> here, right next to it. It's kind of an odd juxtaposition. Um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a quick, quick, quick couple minute break here if you guys don't mind. Um, let's get this out of the shadow.
back. Everyone left. This is so sad. It's all right. Um. Alrighty. What sort of street should this be? It does have a pretty big bus line that runs on it for whatever reason. I'm just trying to think of what sort of buildings would make sense to be on it. I feel like um, it could have some uh, some apartments along here, to be honest. Maybe even stretching down a little bit. I think I'm gonna go too far into this neighborhood because I actually wanted to work my way more this way. This is really what needs stuff on it that has just nothing on it. This has a couple things, a couple terrible things on it. Uh, get this, get the freaking mods out of the way. Okay, where's a good apartment building? these two Those uh, like little bollards go back up and down here. Not around anymore. Um, See, useless addition, waste of time, waste of props. Can't even see it. <laughs> Where did I put that down? Whatever.
the new Invis uh, Bullard, yes. What up, uh, Lollenhard? How you doing? Good to, uh, good to see ya. Yeah, we should figure out a couple more nice excuses to put ads on this corner. I feel like this is a pretty major entrance into downtown. This is, this is a big street. Go for auto saving. Yeah, lots of progress, lots of progress. on this mesa back here. Kind of tried to make it a little smaller and more broken up. I don't know if it's any better. This one I like so much and this one is, it never really worked for me. I don't know what the deal is. There's a lot of people at these bus stops. That's kind of crazy. Bus line two and three. They're at the, at the top. Oh my gosh. Look at how many people are waiting for this. Number of vehicles, zero of 29. Problems with buses freaking spawning. Very annoying. What delete delete the line? I don't know what you're meant to do. I've been having this problem a bunch. I'm gonna delete the line. sort of a planter tree combo over here.
not bad. That does feel a little bit more like uh, entering downtown. Just a bit. Big billboard on top of here. giant tomcat we can do that we can do that eventually i think that's probably around probably around already oh my god what's up with that and then jumps back up this well okay yeah we have a couple couple blank spots this is kind of empty but this is this is part of the um, train station so I was thinking this was more of a plaza did specifically download a couple of fountains. Very small fountains, apparently. Way, way too small. Ah, oh, but the water is gone. That's cool. That's going to be good like that. Should add these uh, fountain 
ones over here. those new lantern networks that I downloaded. Yeah. Let's give these a try. Basically doing that, something like that. Well, I don't know, it's not amazing, not amazing, but maybe you just need some trees, some planters. think I'm by doing this I'm deciding like a lot of stuff around the edge of this thing are there retro food trucks no there are not unfortunately as far as I've as far as I've found I 
have to put planters under these trees. But. see like the concept alrighty in a different way so that the middle stays that like dirt color. These are the entrances for, should be the entrances for the pedestrians. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because ultimately I want to redo this entire train station. But for this purpose, oh wow, you can see well into the train station <laughs> over here. Lots of people using it.
don't know how I feel about this. And the other reason this isn't so great is if I try to do the same thing over here, there's like a train line that runs right here that I just covered up with some moppable grass. And a lot of this is like... Whatever. Maybe this can just be this corner. spaces and then just like that and a, and a fence some really big, really big mansions compared to over here. There's gonna have to be some sort of tapering of size to get over that direction. There's this little lot. Could find a nice building for that, probably. building maybe. Oh, 
Western Auto one, maybe. Or this Havana one. Or the Havana one. the thing. That's kind of what I was looking for. I will, I will do the Western Auto one as well. Sounds like a hotel. Yeah, maybe. Seems like a place where a hotel would be. station on this corner maybe. Something like that. Station, uh, what's the best way to look for this? Uh, shell? Yeah, that actually is a good way to look for it. I was going to go over there and look for shell signs, but I'll do that. sort of like commercial building here like, uh, the store goes goes with it I'm not sure if that's no, that's a good one for it we'll use this one right there.
Mr. Hats for Cats. What is the theme of this city? Let's do a little tour. Happy to show you. Maybe just one second to finish what I'm uh, in the middle of doing. The theme of the city is generally that this is a, uh, well, this is real bumpy. This is a um, sort of a fantasy city. stuck in time, maybe. It's a uh, very art deco-y, sort of retro city in the desert. Very uh, militarized. It's a big military base. There's a uh, movie studios. Here's one made uh, this like Wild West filming location out here the other day. Uh, absolutely enormous oil refinery here. A lot of stuff around. so bad though around here. Did a decent job. A bit of a barrier. Wow, thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate it. It's very nice of you. I feel like the city is a uh, I've been working on it for a couple months. Try not to get too bogged bogged down in the uh, in the weeds of like details, but. cinematic shots here and there. It's gotta look half decent. This area before it was like not not looking good. I mean over here it's still not looking good. This is just nothing. It's just houses. <laughs> A couple cactuses. Fences. But uh, yeah, this is looking nice. Looking nice here. Some of this area is like also a little underdone. restaurant is wacky for sure. 
I wish there was some signage for it. It'd be so nice if I had something. Some nice big flashy sign for it, but I don't. I have those letters, but I don't know what it's called. signs and force myself to find somewhere to put them down. Two coke signs is what I grabbed. small plants. Just that little extra bit of detail. Not looking half bad, this intersection. going by you like the top uh, the typography of the silver moon sign a lot yes I that also is one of my my favorite signs I I would I would say it's a real good one find like one small building to go in there probably that guy maybe little guy.
the freaking, you can't put the thing near the thing. I hate that. Got to get a mod to get rid of that. something else to do oh man there's actually like whole loads of issues because there's just a road going into the building here <laughs> oh, fantastic fantastic what do I do on this side oh, I have like a whole little thing over here Ugly. Extremely ugly. I'm just gonna go with it because you know what? This entire building is gonna get torn down eventually. I really need to redo it at some point. I just gotta figure out a little tiny thing to slip into there. Like, maybe not that little and tiny, but this building. Group this building. Something like that fills in that that gap. Please let me do the same thing on the other side. Not really going to be exactly the same, but it's okay. Good enough. It's a wacky building already. I'm uh, gonna take another quick break if you guys don't mind. May or may not call it quits after that. We'll see how I'm feeling. But uh, I will be right back again.
Yeah, let's uh, let's keep working a little bit. Let's keep doing a few more things. It seems as though we might be in the middle of an autosave, though. Pretty choppy. Um, okay, so I want this street and maybe even a little bit of the street to extend a little bit of density out that way. I'm thinking almost just like copying a row of a couple buildings here, like these five. Oh yeah, we were auto saving. That's good, that's good actually. I say a little dense. Could be spread out just a bit. Fences there. Really, a lot of went in on the fences for whatever reason. We're here too. What are we doing with all these fences? I don't need that really. I could probably squeeze another mansion and back, like right here. Potentially. Maybe squeezing things isn't the move, but you gotta have you gotta leave some room for space. Uh, like I'm gonna delete that building. Historic. What's so historic about it? I'm, I'm gonna delete it. Out of here. Spaces. A lot of cactuses right here. That could be fun. Fun random thing to do. I guess it was already a fun random thing that I did do. But uh just have a bunch of these cactuses. Sometimes you see that where it's just like one has an absurd amount of them. It sucks about the LOD. I have no LOD. world. What up? How you doing? Hello, hello. Working, uh, it's a little bit further down from this yesterday. To this weird, uh, Japanese restaurant. Well, just kind of trying to fix up this area just a little bit more. Not great, but it's better than it was. Like, I'm thinking... Almost like a parking lot garage sort of thing. Like a... There's just so many freaking parking lots in the city. It's ridiculous. No, I'm, I'm thinking like um, an auto... Like a, 
rental or I don't know, auto, auto body or, you know, this could be good. I feel like this might, is probably an old street, it could have some old buildings on it. some good tapering of uh, the sizes here. Before it was really just like this one enormous building and then kind of nothing around it. But I'm trying to just get it to feel a bit more like downtown's kind of ending. The amount of parking in this city is peak American, yes. Everything, parking everywhere. Got it. One thing that I haven't placed a single one down is, uh, parking garages I don't have any subscribed to I wish there was an art deco parking garage that's a great idea I should ask comrade intense if he wants to do that Maybe like an Art Deco apartment. A couple Art Deco apartments, where are those? I think if I used any of these buildings. Does that feel like something that would be in this city even? sure feels a little more modern than everything else in the entire city the other architecture on. let's be facing that way Yeah, I mean, I think at the very least this area should be slightly more dense than it is. Or this street is uh, more dense than it is. Maybe it's the home of a <laughs> retro future avant-garde architect, that's funny. Yeah, maybe it's uh, really pushing the boundaries. I was imagining more like these types of buildings. It's like too weird of a combo of buildings right now. Okay, there's too much going on. I think I need to get rid of some at least. I'm, this thing is, I'm, it's not working for me. It's not working for me, unfortunately. At least here. I 
look, where are the Art Deco apartments? Like, if I... Take this thing. That's not a half bad one. Should probably be on the other side of the street, though. Here's what the ones I was thinking of. Perfect. Always way too bright. some under construction houses and high rise uh, buildings might make it look like the city's still growing. Not a bad idea. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do that here? This is a disgusting color.
over here. I already pulled all these. Did I pull these out? be like another bigger building in here somewhere. Oh look, I used two of the same building on either side of that. in it. I think that's good. And then it'll just be residential the rest of this. Um, man, that might be it for me tonight, guys. Been going for a good, good chunk of time. But uh, we got a lot done. Bunch of stuff in this area. All of this. Looks much better. Than that in there. Once the the music has stopped, but uh, about the end here, guys. Take it easy. I will see you all uh, later.